have started slowly from and, and nobody can explain it they're looking for answers oh what a deck deflected almost right back to him up along the boards goes by Creighton to center oh, Harry and Hatcher had him lined up on the far side and Hatcher's the one who went down and heads to the bench he gets up he's all right I think he only got a piece of Brendan Shanahan then look he went down and arched his back it looked like he might have whiplashed his neck and his back uh, St. Louis wanting to make some line changes holds on to it a minute picked up by McGinnis who stays out dropped it in two on two chance here Chasse cutting to the net he fell down right around the shot save made good play made by Ian LaPerriere the rookie he got the shot helmet halfway off Vitaly Karamnov I don't know who's there for Dallas but that's pretty interesting Vitaly Karamnov was really pretty well standing his ground uh oh not a good move that's Gord Donnelly I didn't know who it was number 43 in white Al McGinnis who had that first goal stays out here's Adam Creighton he'll set up in the middle on this one Donnelly intercepts and clears oh there is Darian Hatcher going at it again with Brendan Shanahan are they going to fight yes yeah. they are Yes, they are, right in front of the Dallas bench. Ooh, look at Hatcher go after him. And now Shanahan going after him. Remember, it was Hatcher that tried to hit Shanahan about five minutes ago in front of the bench and missed him and looked like he hurt his back. This is Darian Hatcher, Kevin's brother. Brendan Shanahan, when he first came into the league, was noted as a fighter. You bet he was, and he was 19 years old, and he fought everybody, and he did well against just about everybody, too. He is not as big as Hatcher, but boy, when that Irish temper gets wound up, he's pretty good. But he's being forced to go to the left here because Hatcher was pounding him with the right. And there's not going to be much for Hatcher to grab onto in a second. Everything's coming off, the underwear and everything. This is a ferocious battle. Yeah, man. Oh, watch this. Shanahan's got his right hand loose. He's going to try and get one. Oh, no. Hatcher's got his thumb in his underwear. It looked like he was hanging on by the thumb. Okay, you guys had enough. Think the playoffs are coming? Oh, man. Dallas is pretty well equipped, I'll tell you. Here's how it started. Hatcher moving up on Shanahan, and this time he didn't miss him. He almost put him into the Dallas bench. And this is the play earlier we talked about. Hatcher tried to get Shanahan, and Shanahan just stepped out of the way. You see how, how Hatcher was going to hit him straight on? Hardest way to line up a guy. You want a little bit of an angle so you get your shoulder into it. I mean, we don't have the greatest talent compared to Philly or Detroit, but, I mean, when guys play together as a team, it's amazing what can be done. Yep. Ian LaPerriere, Dennis Chasse battling in behind the net. There's a penalty. That could be five. But Tali Karamnov, that's a from behind the back check, right up against the boards. It looked like it was intended. And if he doesn't get five in a game on this, he is going to be a very fortunate St. Louis Blue. I th I, he'll probably only get two simply because Molek got right up. I mean, if Doug Molek had decided that he wanted to stay down for a while, it could have been worse. I think Smolik and Karamnov were the guys that got into it down in the corner with Gord Donnelly involved in the first period. They're not done in the corner. We told you Dufresne hasn't played much. He's being held off down there from Smolik. Shot by Gagne. He's blocked out by McGinnis in a fight on the far side. Ian LaPerriere just picked up that last goal and Smolik of Dallas are into it. Wow. Smolik's got the big advantage there. He's a tough guy, and he's used to mixing it up. with Perrier, uh-uh, great offensive skills, but he bit off plenty there. Probably more than he could chew. Mike Madonna, we hope this next time we see you back out there on skates. Thanks for being Hopefully with us. Hopefully soon. Thanks for having me, Gary. 8.38 left here in the second period. St. Louis trying to get it going up ice. Intercepted again at center Cavallini. He got decked after he sent that into the zone. He got leveled on the fire side by Ian LaPerriere. There is LaPerriere. LaPerriere moving in, battles with Hatcher, and Cavallini lined him up and got away with it. Cavallini was looking for him and put the big shoulder hit on him. And bodies are flying everywhere. Big hit by Ian LaPerriere. And Paul Cavallini went down. Tackle. We'll get it out of the zone. Hard pass Shanahan. Leading the charge to Anderson oh. who avoided a check by Cavallini. Oh, man. Playoffs begin and they'll begin on ESPN. Cavallini chasing it down. Plenty of time left and behind the play. Adam Creighton got dumped. He's getting up slowly and there's the whistle on that I 
think. Creighton fell down. Now he's looking for somebody. Creighton's flee leaves. He got, I think, but ended. Went down with, oh, here's another fight. It's Ian LaPerriere. And it's Kennedy, Mike Kennedy. These are two rookies going at it. And this is LaPerriere's second scrap. He got blood coming down over his left eye. He might have gotten hit with a pretty good clip from Kennedy. When the fight started, Kennedy threw a big right hand. So they'll head to the dressing room with a minute 42 left to go in the game. Bob Gandy looking up at the clock. And the Blues leading at 8-4. Ian LaPerriere and Mike Kennedy, two of the top ten leading rookie scorers, both of them in the top ten. Remains out. And it's in the books. The St. Louis Blues have defeated the Dallas Stars and win the season series three games to two. John Casey, the winner in net. The rookie starter, Mike Torquia, takes the loss. There's Casey, the winner, 8-4. We'll be right back to Dallas.